Hi, this is Jill. And this is Susan. And this is PDPDQ, where leaders soar. Let's start with swim. Every classroom should have a swim poster. There are extra at the front desk. Just ask the fabulous Trina. Let's talk options. Think positive reinforcement. Single out the good behavior. Make sure you throw those kids some otter coupons. And don't forget about the classroom fish. Really try to notice other classrooms. The kids love to be noticed. Also think about consequences. The kids are free to make their choices, but they are not free from the consequences that follow. Remember to write up majors or minors. The data is much needed. That way we can help struggling students. And also remember behavior contracts. Here are some action steps to help you through. This year we're going to really try to make sure we are incorporating Leader and Me. Make sure that you give out Leader and Me forms to all of your students who are showing the habits. Point out which habits that the students are using and also which they need to work on. Let's take a look at consequences. Major or minor. Everyone has different thresholds of tolerance and every child and situation is different. If you're not sure whether an incident is a major write-up or a minor write-up, then get a second opinion. But please always do the paperwork. It helps us to help you to help the child. Let's take a look at the minor form. Make sure that the minor form is being filled out in all areas. This helps us to track the child and where they need help the most. Okay, let's take a minute and look at our major form. At the top, you'll see all information we need. Please fill that out completely. Once you start filling out the form in regards to the incident, please always pick one major issue of concern. If you have more than one issue on a major write-up, choose the issue that carries the most weight. If you feel strongly that there are two issues, write up two different majors for the same incident. Possible motivation. This part is very important because it does help us to figure out why the student did the action. Towards the bottom, you'll see that there is a seven habits section. This information is something you need to be discussing with your student. Point out which habit needs to be worked on and explain why they haven't met that habit. In the comments section, please write in a concise manner without mentioning another student's names as to what happened. If there was an altercation between two students, do not include the names of the other students. For example, if you were writing, Susan hit another student, and that student hit back, that would be acceptable. If you write something like, Susan hit Jill, and Jill hit back, that is not acceptable. A parent can request a copy of the write-up, and for confidentiality reasons, no other student names should be on it. In closing, if you are sending a student to the office, you must communicate with the office as to why. If you send a student with the write-up, please staple the form or put it in an envelope so he or she would be unable to read it. Now it's time to reach out. If you need help, don't hesitate to ask any of us. You can also post a scenario on Edmodo to ask for other opinions. If you want to praise, please tweet out Otter Swim. And that's another edition of Professional Development Pretty Darn Quick.